guys, welcome back to another vlog. Nice sunny, cold morning here in Melbourne. Um, last night we stayed and watched Catfish in the Bottom End and as you right remember, in an old vlog, we missed them earlier in the year. But anyway, we got back to see them last night at Festival Hall and it was absolutely incredible. Um, had a really good time. Anyway, just off to get a haircut right now um, with the boys at Area Barbers. Shout out to our man Owen, who's gonna be cutting my hair. Um, yeah, so, look at this place. So good. Nice winter morning in Melbourne, <laughs> even though you'd think we're in uh, England. And uh, yeah, so, just gonna get the sides touched up today. Skin fed the sides back in, keep the length on top. And uh, yeah, we'll crack on the rest of the day. Got a cool day ahead. Gonna get back home. Um, got a friend's 21st birthday on tonight, which is dress up, which is gonna involve a bit of food, a bit of drinking, so that's gonna be cool. And uh, show you how that goes down. Woke up this morning, I uh, couldn't weigh myself, but averaged out over the week at 178 pounds. So that's another two pounds down, which is progress, and progress is what we're after. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, current physique update. I'll show you now. Still some work to be done. We've got nine weeks to go. Just gonna keep chipping away and uh, see what we can bring. You can already see some big improvements from last time, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so almost at the barber shop now. Gonna show you a bit of that. Here we go. <laughs> to the salon in the description below. Um, if anyone's in Melbourne and they want a fresh haircut, definitely check him out. Um, Area Barber Shop, it is sick. Alright guys, we're here at Royal Stacks in Melbourne, Collins Street. There's no day in Melbourne, it's complete half burger. Went for the bacon bacon, which is two patties full of bacon, and uh, these cheesy fries, and a Coke Zero, because we're all about that low calorie life. All right, so as we walked in, we spotted these amazing donuts. We've got two Snickers donuts, one Golden Gate Time donut, and uh, I think they're from Bistro Morgan. Some 16-year-old dude with the donut company, so uh, we're gonna taste and find out. So the burger, that was a, what would you say the burger was? Out of 10. I'd say mine was a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Good burger, I've definitely had better though. But then the desserts were amazing. That Those donuts were like off the chart. And then he came out and gave us some um, free frozen custard, which was amazing for a Rocher flavor. <coughs> Didn't think I could eat anymore, but I fitted it in. I feel like I'm gonna spew everywhere, but that's all good. Now we've got to get home and probably gonna sleep because we're pretty tired. All right, guys. So currently dressed as Jon Snow. Check this outfit out. Got the feathers. Got the cape. Got the wolves. Oh man, 
we're looking cool. But anyway, waiting for everybody to get ready. Gonna head to the party soon. Um, while we're waiting, just gonna have a quick chat about refeeds and what I'm gonna do next with my calories and my diet. So, today I usually refeed once a week on a Sunday. Uh, but because I've got this party tonight, I decided to switch my day to the Saturday. So this far out from a comp, we're nine weeks out, it's fine, you know. I think that's the thing, the whole flexible dieting thing, it's designed to be flexible. So, you know, have my, switch my refeed for today. You know, I lost a decent amount of weight this week, so it's not really gonna affect the progress too much. Um, yeah, it's gonna, I'm still gonna try and lift tomorrow, do my cardio, did my cardio today, and all the rest. So, typical refeed day, I will double my carbohydrate intake. Um, so I've been eating 300 grams of carbs, I'll be in 600 on a refeed. Keep my protein around the same fats, you know, I try and keep them where they are or below, I don't try and eat more. Um, but today, you know, I thought, okay, we're nine weeks out, really I'm eight if I cut off the peak week. Um, so I just went a bit of a blowout today, didn't really track any macros. Um, so yeah, got that Royal Stacks burger in Melbourne, you know, try some donuts and stuff, come back, you know, had, had a few more treats, didn't really track too much, gonna have a few drinks tonight as well, just enjoy myself. Um, but then the next eight weeks are gonna be like super strict. Um, I mean, I'm thinking it's only eight weeks. I mean, I've dieted for way longer before, so this is gonna be good. I'm happy doing that. Still keep it flexible, refeeds are just gonna be double carbs, like big carb ups, and um, the progress will be awesome. So. That's that's just having fun with that. Um, so this week, I think I mentioned earlier, weighed in at 158 pounds, or 157, whatever it was. Um, so I'm gonna make a calorie decrease. I think I'm really good at sort of guessing what my body's gonna do, and I just don't think that the progress is gonna keep going. The calories have been here for the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'm gonna take out 30 grams of carbs, which is 120 calories. Usually I wouldn't do this much. I'll stick around the 100 calories, 80 to 100 calories to take out. Um, but look, I'm prepping for a show. I have given, haven't given myself a whole lot of time and I'm happy with it. That was my decision. And uh, I'm just gonna make those bigger drops. You know, my, my calories are high. I'm, I'm happy with making those drops. I think like 30 grams of carbs taken out is really gonna help to, you know, kickstart everything. Um, Cardio is still going to be seven days a week, 20 minutes less. Um, currently doing like 6.5 on the treadmill, which isn't that fast. Um, small incline, I think it's like an incline of 5%, um, which burns, I don't even know if it burns 200 calories, I don't think it does, but it's just enough to keep things ticking over, get progress going. Um, and I'm noticing that my strength staying nice and high in the gym, like I'm not losing any strength, keeping a bit of fullness, as you might see from the, the check-in, sort of videos earlier. Um, I'm looking a lot fuller than I ever have at this point, which is great. Um, so yeah, you know, definitely got some work to do. I think I got eight to 10 pounds to lose. I'd like to drop below 150 pounds. I think I'd be pretty lean then, in the best shape I've ever been in. Um, and yeah, I think I've got enough time. Like if the progress keeps going um, and I just do everything, stick to the plan, just, keep chipping away, keep chipping away, um, it's fine. You know, head's in a good place, not stressed about the whole thing. Um, decided to pick the physique category. Um, I think just by looking at my physique, I'm, I'm just still not big enough, even though I, I competed four years ago, that was my problem back then, I was just too small, like coming real lean, but you know, and then I looked even smaller. Um, there were some massive guys in there, so I'm gonna go for physique, you know, I think I get, might be able to hold my own in that. And uh, look, it's a whole new challenge, like I, I haven't, I'm not used to those poses, you know, the whole routine, the look, so um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And uh, I think I've really developed my physique well to do that. So yeah, that was the, so we got the calorie drop this week, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with that. That might tighten me up a fair bit. Cardio staying the same. Uh, refeeds are just going to be double the carb intake once a week at the moment. We might change things up closer to the show, but we'll see. I'm going to keep them in for the minute. Um, yeah, no, and that's where the diet's at. It's, it's going really, really well. Um, yeah, really happy with the progress. So, great words from Jon Snow on dieting. <laughs> First time we've ever had diet advice from Jon Snow. Um, but yeah, like I say, gonna go to the party tonight, have some fun, have a few drinks, you know, just enjoy it. I know I'm prepping for a show, but this is the whole flexible diet life, you know, you can you can do this, enjoy it. Um, 
One little change in the plans. I have got a barber competition coming up next weekend, the Victorian Barber Battle from Barber Connect. Um, it's gonna be so sick. Um, there's gonna be 16 barbers in it. Everybody's doing four models each. We've got the fade, we've got the pompadour, we've got freestyle, and we've got the all scissor cut. So it's gonna be incredible. Uh, when I went and got my haircut today from Owen at Area Barbers, we showed you that earlier. He's competing, those boys are competing. So, I mean, it's tough competition. The, those guys are like incredible. Um, so it's gonna be a really interesting day. And uh, look, I'm not expecting anything out of it, but I'm just gonna jump in. You know, if you're not around it, you never know, you never learn. And uh, it's just great to network, meet the other guys, and um, see what everyone else is doing with their work. And uh, yes, that's pretty much where we at. Like, I, I, did, I haven't done a video. I've, I've just done two solid weeks of dieting before I did another video. Um, I feel like, you know, it's just a bit to talk about. Because first week, you know, nothing changes. Just diet stays the same. You know, calories stay the same, cardio stays the same. You know, you don't look too much different. Um, so yeah, progress is going well. And we are going to have a good time. We are Brothers of the Night's Watch. We are Brothers of the Night's Watch. All right guys, so a little bit of advice from Jon Snow. He told me that when they would be on the wall, they need a lot of energy. And what did they do when they need a lot of energy? They mixed half a can of White Monster with half a scoop of Stimulate. All right, here we go. It's open. One can of Stimulate in northern colors, nice and white and snowy. So, half a can, maybe. Step one, complete. Half a scoop of Finaflex. Stimulate. Done. I'll kill those wildlings. That's actually really good. All right guys, so that was my weekend. Had a nice big refeed. That's actually gonna be the last big refeed of this cut. Um, it's now midweek and uh, the water weight has only just dropped off, so I'm back to 158 pounds now. Um, I woke up at 162, so four pounds over. So it takes a couple of days for that water weight to come off. So it can be a bit uh, delusional for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be the last big refeed. And they're gonna be, if I have another one, it's gonna be so much more controlled. Um, calories are still, you know, carbs are still at 270, so uh, it's pretty good for the minute. I am starting to feel a bit more depleted now, though, now that cardio's gone up a little bit, calories have come down. Um, starting to feel a little bit more depleted, but it's only eight weeks, eight and a half weeks out, and uh, progress is progress, right? So um, this is it now. Big push for the last eight weeks. Um, just got to keep chipping away, bring the best physique we can. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a comment if you like the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.